Hey team, this is Luke with Crusader Machining. Welcome back for another awesome Friday video. As always, it will be very cool and very useful. If, you look, if you're familiar with my content on any of the social media channels that I'm on, you might be familiar with me getting some flack on my machining techniques for doing something like this. And in turn, I get comments like these. So, that being said, I do not mind the comments one bit. In fact, I love them. I'll bet you $20 that if you comment on this video, I will reply. I love the comments, I love the engagement, I love to hear different ideas, I love responding back. I really, really enjoy the small community we've built. There's some regular followers that I have that comment, they ask questions, they give ideas, and I absolutely love it. Even the ones that are critical and rude, I still like it. Engagement is engagement. And even through the critical ones, if I can learn, I will take that opportunity and that advantage. I have zero ego, I have zero pride. I love what I do, so keep the comments coming. Even after this one, the VNMG haters, pile on, let me know while I'm still wrong. Now, let's move on to the premise of the video. Why do I rough turn with a VNMG all the time? I hear it a lot. Now, I could say, because I want to or because it's my decision, but I'm not going to. I rough with a VNMG or a V-style insert because that's what's in the machine. When I'm on a setup, I want to get that setup done quick. Me and a guy that I work with here, Steve, he's a trainee and he's very awesome at his job. We want to get a setup done quick. There's some setups I can get done from part to part, excuse me, part to part, in less than an hour. If I have this in the machine that I was using as a rougher before, I'm going to continue to use it. Here's a, here's a big wake up call to everyone. The customer does not know or care what insert I use. And on the print, it doesn't say, you The print doesn't say, you need to use a WNMG. You need to use an insert made for roughing. I get wonderful tool life using these as a rough turn. Also, I wish I had it here, I should have, I've got a box about a three inch by three inch by three inch box full of used inserts. They might have one good edge, they may have two good edges, they might have four edges that are very slightly used that they're not good for a finisher that I use for a rougher. The people that say, why do you use a VNMG, I would quit back and say, why wouldn't I use a VNMG? I get great tool life. I'm able to machine it basically at the same cutting parameters. Now, I'm going to clarify that when I say basically. A, D a CNMG or a WNMG, I can go hog wild nuts with. Now, a VNMG, I'm going to have to slow it down slightly, but I'm still going to run it a technical term, balls to the wall. I'm still going to push it. And that's what we're going to look at right here. I set up a VNMG in our small CNC lathe, cutting 4340, which is not bad steel by any stretch of the imagination, but it's also not like aluminum or brass. It's a little bit gummier than 1215. 4340 pre-hard condition, and I started out at a certain surface footage depth of cut and feed, and I picked it up. At the end, you're gonna wanna watch through these. At the end, we are ripping through it. And when I was done, the insert was new. So let's take a look at that right now. You're gonna see at the bottom of the screen what my cutting parameters were. Let's rock and roll and check that out. 
Now, does that simulate a production environment? No, not really. It's just take, I just wrote in a quick um, program just to rough off, set my RPM or my surface footage, set my feed rate, my depth of cut, and I slowly got more aggressive from the first cut all the way to the fourth. And I added in, or I'm gonna add in a little slow-mo so you can take a look at the chip forming. That's my favorite thing to watch. Does it apply to the video? Not really but it's super cool. So that does not simulate a production environment. What I mean by that is, that's not an eight hour shift worth of running tools. But you can take it from me, I got 20 years experience on CNC lathes. We rough with VNMGs all the time. Literally all the time. Every day in fact, I'm running a job right now, 17.4 pH, I'm using it to rough at 650 surface feet, feeding at 13 because it was sitting in the machine. It was in the machine, touched off, ready to go. I didn't have to walk away to grab another holder, grab another insert, reteach the tool, check, make sure that part of the program is good. It was in there. I've had that same rough, VNMG 332 roughing tool, roughing in there for probably, I don't know, a couple months. And I do it all the time, I've done it forever. It won't last as long as a WNMG. It won't be able to machine as aggressively as a WNMG. But I don't care. I don't care one bit. It does the job fine, and I've probably got a hundred inserts that are already bought and paid for. I'm just gonna pop in as I have to change them. It's a win-win-win. It's a win for me, it's a win for our customer because they don't care. And it's a win for you to learn this valuable, valuable, critical information. Now, would I tell my students it's a preferred roughing tool? No, I wouldn't. But if I had someone in my class or someone I worked with that's got a, you know, five, eight, 10 years on a machine that says, hey, this is already in the machine, it's working as a rougher. Can I continue to use it? I would salute and say, yes, sir. Definitely continue to use it, rock and roll. In conclusion, that's why I use a VNMG. I'm going to continue to use a VNMG, but that being said, the comments I get that you at, when you ask why am I using it, that's why. I hope the video cleared it up. What do you think? Would you ever use a VNMG as a roughing tool? Leave a comment below, like the video, share, subscribe to the channel, find me on all my socials, Instagram, Tic Tac, Twitter, of course here on YouTube, check it out. Thank you for following, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.